Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included in our small base here. In the meantime, we have stocked up to uh, 12 duplicates, which means all the beds are occupied, all the tables in the mess hall are occupied. And what else happened since last time? Uh, here on this side, um, I rearranged this a bit because we got too much air pressure, especially here on the side, so the oil refineries could not be operated. Um, we also run into issues with, uh, with power. Uh, what the exactly reason for that is, we will see later on. So I went ahead and uh, added this natural gas geyser to our supply. Because we were running low here. Uh, and then basically we burned coal in order to get power. Uh, down here I added a line for the water down here on this side because pipe broke again there. Um, yeah, maybe let's let's just get rid of, of that part. Um, because that's it. And then down here uh, I started uh, the, the first things uh, because down here we have a copper volcano that we want to harvest. So uh, we need to work on that as well. But I think the real progress happened here on top, where we now have a rocket that's fueled, ready to launch. Here on this side, we have the start of a cooling setup. And all the way to this side, we have bunker doors that are powered. And that's also the reason uh, why we have had power issues because if they want to open or close they consume a lot of power and if we are unable to produce that power on demand we do not have that many batteries but now here i also started with adding solar power uh, here underneath and we have some additional batteries here on top um so i think that's well first let's assign pay uh to the to the rocket she is a certified rocket pilot um then we can launch the rocket to the to the first planet uh, actually so much time passed that we gazed all the way to the temporal tier with our telescope so no more of that here on the lowest layer we have to to carbon um, and uh, we are mostly interested in the the rare resources we can get from there um, mainly super coolant there we need fullerene that we can only get from outer space and for insulation we need iso resin also from outer space um, and of course uh, we need to finish up our uh, research so yeah now you are in then let's deconstruct this because pay will stay in there and uh, we can open the, the doors there um, set the destination we only can reach the, the lowest two but with that many um, science modules we should get enough uh, uh, science data back um, in order um, to uh, to finish the research 
and then we can we can switch out to uh, whatever we need. Okay, that's something new. You don't want to start if you're buried. Uh, in the past, that never was a problem. But we can we can deal with that. And then, while well, we are waiting for our rocket to be dug out. Um, I can tell you what we will focus on today. Uh, if we look into our book, we have dealt with the Dracos, we have the hatches, the moose we need to get from out of space, the morbs we have not, but we have the pakus, the pips, the poke shells, the pops. The shine box we're missing, the shove walls we're missing, uh, and we have the slicksters and sweepies. Um, I will not count them because they are artificial creatures. Uh, cannot, cannot uh, form them. So let's see then. Launch the mission. And there she goes. And today we will focus on uh, the shelf walls. We have quite a few up here and they can be a nuisance because uh, if they uh, poop too much uh, uh, out here, uh, then we will pile up material under our silver array. Um, and this is a bit on the warm side, so they will break. So we will have to deal with, with that threat here. And the best way to do that is actually making a farm so we can eat them. So... We will... like this here and here we will need to ensure that things can be can not go wrong Off. Um, that's in here. The drop off um, and the this, the feeder. sure if we actually need to groom the station in here um, but we will need the door there and we will need a bit 
bit of power. Let's see. Um, no temperature power. I have a major power line going there. Let's do this. Hook it directly up to uh, to the heavy water wire. As long as we can build it out of lead, um, that's not really a problem because we have quite a bit of lead on the side for which we don't have any better use. So I think the next thing will be the return of the rocket. And our rocket is returning. What do we get out of it? A mixer. Aside from quite a few data things. So let's close up here on top. And here on this side, uh, you can see I prepared the, the final piece uh, where we have some some uh, robo miners um, they will need to be built out of uh, steel which we don't have uh, a huge amount of um, uh, because at this point the only source of iron is basically the iron we get from out of space and that's not all that much uh, because we only harvest the portion that we see coming in here on the left. So we also need then some some cooling here. Uh, so that's why we have the, the, the pipes going. And with the uh, rocket returning, let's refuel it. And um, have a look at our research. Um, let's go with the uh, solid fuel thruster uh, first and then the petroleum engine. We don't need the, the, the thruster but the petroleum engine that's, that's vital. Uh, for us to make progress. Looking at the form, uh, pretty good progress. All that we are missing here are the miners and the power setup. Uh, otherwise, it would be ready for our rolls, but the miners need to be there. Uh, otherwise, we will run into trouble. Um, so let's wait for that to happen and because we have this gap here between the middle portion and the outer part the walls cannot jump out and they will basically cluster around this this middle piece that we have here otherwise we would have to construct a cage made out of steel it cannot dig through steel and as mentioned just a few minutes before steel is something uh, we are lacking a bit but not to worry we will manage we are in the process of restructuring the rocket that's why it looks like uh, rather holy um, because we have done or finished the research so we can have petroleum engines and uh, oxalite uh, supply uh, so for that uh, we are building up here another electrolyzer setup so we have oxygen um, and uh, 
we have petroleum there, so we can actually add the engine there. And this piece is missing, so we can lay in the pipes. And the rocket is led out, or laid out, um, so we can actually then also later on add two uh, um, modules for, uh, for materials and that should be sufficient for the nearest uh, asteroids with one oxidizer tank and two fuel tank uh, with a bit of research going on as well. Here we are in the process of getting more polluted water in for the cooling and up here um, we always have to see that we get more things there and there we get a bit of petroleum delivered and that sits on here right uh, on this this drywall we have a bit of petroleum so that then we can have a radiant pipe there which will do the cooling so we need to uh, to uh, uh, complete this whole set of until here in the back and then also uh, run power so we can have the Roku Minus powered there. But on the more important topic, this is now done. We have all the, the wires in and we can see Let's try to catch those. This one. It may take a while until they get into a position uh, where they can actually be fetched. And here we already have steam in here. I'm not yet quite warm enough for the engines to, to uh, uh, kick in, but it's it's just a matter of, of time, I think. And then let's see, just um, the next one would be there. Um, But let's cancel that build. Do that. Here we want a bit of isolated pipe. Drywall behind it. Get rid of this piece so we can have a, a bottle emptier um, uh, for uh, supplying the petroleum. And then we will get there eventually. Right, and we do have uh, the, the first uh, pop wall in here. Uh, the issue with those is they will basically eat the complete feeder uh, empty, and with uh, each reproduction or with each pooping, uh, they will reduce the amount um, by half. So that's kind of the way how we get rid of uh, all of the, the regolite up there. Um, and here uh, we then actually can continue with this setup but I think with the, uh, the pop wall farm uh, done 
we can call this episode uh, another success. And these are so good because they produce a ton of food. And what we maybe can do is That whole thing down by one, and then we should be able to uh, also have a station on, on this ledge here instead of up there. But uh, that's something I can deal with until next time when we hopefully see more progress hopefully we then can also uh, get the, the necessary data banks to finish our research uh, and move on to bigger things but that's all for now hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you soon with more oxygen not included until then goodbye